Hi YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something completely different, and we're gonna be following a routine from a popular makeup artist on Instagram. I always get inspired by different artists, but this time, well, for a while, I've been inspired by him. His name is Kevin Long, I believe. Hopefully, I'm not butchering his last name, but he is amazing. And I've been eyeing his makeup for the longest, and I even was gonna hire him to do my birthday makeup, but he was booked. Like, this guy is always booked. And he has like online classes, like he teach you how to do the makeup. And at first when I see now, I was like, it's probably like filter. Cause I know he filters his pictures, but you can only filter so much. But no, sometimes you can filter a lot. But I bought one of the classes and it was $45 and I'm gonna share with you guys. Well, we're gonna follow it together and recreate it. And this is what I came up with. And I love it. So let's get to this tutorial. I'm so excited to follow his routine. I already watched the video, of course, and that's why I got inspired to create this. I love the way he does complexion and I want to try it on myself to see if it works the same. Um, you guys, like, look at this. Kevin is, I want him to do my makeup because I want to see. I want to see. When I first saw his page though, I was like, is this real? Look at that face. I want to look like that. Look at this. Oh, so gorgeous. If you haven't checked him out, go ahead and check him out. He is amazing. His work speak volumes. I, what sold me was this. He did a makeup on Addy and I was like, what? Look at that face. So we're going to go ahead and follow it to see what it do. I'm also not going to create the eye makeup look because I already know how to do that. I'm interested in complexion and I feel like everybody is. So let's get right into it. I don't have all the products he used, but I got half of them and I matched it with some of the things that he said that he was using, like the same formula and stuff like that. So let's get this popping. For prepping the skin, he used the Milk Hydro like Grip Primer. I personally don't like the primer. Like when I tried it, I was like... My makeup looked too cakey, but I do love the blur, and you guys know that. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one, and I normally mix it with my uh, Guerlain, but Guerlain, it's out. Oh, she could spit a little. All right. We could go ahead and use whatever is left here. I like mixing those too. It works for me. Well, that's a lot of alcohol. <laughs> I never noticed. Into now. And then I'm going to grab the milk, and I'm going to go in the pores. But if you have the grip primer, you go ahead and use it. That's the one that he uses. He also uses eye cream. I don't use ice, ice cream. <laughs> I'm hungry. I don't use eye cream for my makeup. So, yeah. I'm going to apply this all over the skin, starting with the center of the face. And then I'm using my makeup shack to use sponge to stipple this onto the skin. So he uses a sponge to apply it on the primer. I have never seen that before. So that might, that might be different. Yeah, it creates like a very tacky texture to it. It does a lot. For foundation, I'm going to be using Natasha Denona X Plus Foundation. So for foundation, he's using Natasha Denona. I am going to use literally my old school MAC. I forgot that I bought this, and it's kind of like the similar to full cover foundation. So this one is full cover foundation. So he does apply it with a brush. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a brush to apply it. Oh my gosh, this brings me all memories. When was the last time I time? The last time. The last time that I used Studio Fix. Oh my gosh, let me prep real quick. I'm going in with the foundation. He goes in with the brush and applies it evenly all over the skin. I like this idea. Instead of dipping the booty blender right in your hand, you kind of divide this. You could use this with your, um, with your hand. Okay, so we put it evenly all over. Then he grabbed his... Uh, Booty Blender, he's using the regular uh, brown Booty Blender. I'm using this one by Milani that I like a lot. So he went in with one of my favorite concealers that a lot of people hate and don't like. He went in with the Tarte, so I was like, ah, hell yeah, this is one of the best concealers. And then he just applied it in the, right here, in the middle. I personally, I let it cook. It was not cook, I let it set for a couple of minutes before I blend it because it gives me more pay of color. He went right in and blended out. I'm going to give it a little time because I like the little effects that it gives me, but I want, I'm so used to bringing it right back here and he just brought it right here. So I'm going to, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Is that the song? I don't know if that's the song. Let it shine. Let it shine. Boom. So we're going to leave it alone. You know how much I'm suffering because I want to, <laughs> 
put it all over, but I'm not. All right, let's blend it out. It gives you a better coverage when you let it sit for there like longer. Okay, then when he went in with the lighter color from Tarte, and also he went in with the brush, so I'm gonna do the same thing, honey. And he didn't go like right underneath the eye, he went under like this. I always go like all the way to the top, so let's see what kind of effect that gives. And I'm gonna do the same thing. He went in and blended out right away. I'm gonna let it set and kind of give me a little more of, more of a payoff color. So, I'll wait like two to three minutes. So let me vent out this right quick. I'm gonna grab the little Milani Booty Blender and we are going in. I'm blending everything. Oh, he started with down here. Why did I start it underneath my eyes? Oh, oh my god. Look, I already messed up. Follow directions. Let me see. Like the he went around the mouth like this. I'm not doing that because I feel like that's gonna give me a flashback because I do have like a shadow. Oh yeah, he let it sit so it has time sticking up. Oh he didn't blend out the underneath. Okay, so he went in with the Tantor by Anastasia right now, and he did not blend underneath his eyes, and I already blended one. So I have to blend the other one, and I'm like, ah! We need to follow the direction, baby girl. I'm not good at following direction, man. I suck at that. Because he was doing the same thing I was doing, and I, I was, like, waiting it to thicken. He went right in and started moving to the other things, and I should have done that, but, you know. And I know he goes heavy, heavy with the Tantor. Um, I went and got it, but it didn't have my color. So I got the darkest color. And that Tantor makes me look ashy. Not ashy, like horrible. Okay, I'm going to be using two products for that. I'm going to use the Vanessa Mikrix Contour and the stick from Black Radiance to give me the thing that he's using. He's going in with the brush first and then he blends it out. So I'm gonna go in with the brush. This brush from Sephora is bomb, this is number 66. All right. So this is his trick. He bronzes the crap out of them. Oh, I don't like the contouring nose part. I don't like contouring my nose, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna sort of bring it down here behind the ear. Oh, wow, that gives you like. I really look like a different person after this. Okay, so then he went in with a sponge and blend out the contour. I normally do the brush, but he went in with the brush first and then warm it up with the booty. I like this. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Okay. I, I, I really didn't have to use this. This is fine. Okay, so now he's moving to setting. And this is a new product that I have never tried, so I'm excited. I'm excited. My only setting powders that I use is Kanufa by Huda and Juvia's Place Kalahari, I believe. Um, those are my setting powders. So I want to see how this one's from, what is it? Derma Blend. I bought them just to do this. Like that was the product that I was like wanting to try. Because it's, if setting powder could change everything, honey. Everything. He did go like here and that's something that i do with shadow i just don't like contouring my nose i feel like it makes it look weird oh this is how i contour my thing and i'm gonna leave it like that okay okay so i'm just kind of blending everything out before i set because i was blending everything and i don't like seeing lines because if you don't blend the lines now the powder gets stuck in there and you're done 
this is your last chance to blend everything out and i like how the the, the face looks i i like it a lot i'm cake though we're cake cake i feel like my under eye i want it a little lighter is it weird that i want it lighter that's just who i am as a person <laughs> so he's using dermablend powder like i said i'm very excited to try this um yeah i'm using the color cool beige normally i set with something more yellow but he's going in with the translucent white so you know why not i also bought like the darkest one to kind of see, but we're just gonna follow because he went in with the lightest and he went in with a lot like that so here we go and he didn't move it let me see okay when it comes to my complexion, I'm very picky. Like, I know what works for me. So, hmm. Oh, he brought it to the, okay. Oh, he's really, like, going in there. Oh, wow. Okay. So let me just finish cooking. We did the reverse nose contour. I like how the powder is going, though. I really, really, I'm enjoying that. It went in in the middle. And on the nose, I think. Good. Laugh lines. And then just that one. why i'm scared that i'm gonna mess it up like <laughs> okay so he went in with the studio fix powder i haven't used studio fix powder in a long time but we're gonna go ahead and use that this is a full coverage uh powder in nc50 and i'm gonna go ahead and clean up this with this oh okay no this is not happening let me apply too much oh shit this is what i'm like cooking underneath my being too much. All right. Oh shit. Oh gosh, I feel like my under eye is gonna look crazy. Did I did it wrong? Okay, flawless. All right, I see that. Mm -hmm. And he's going lightly underneath here. Not really touching it, but kind of. Ooh, I love how it looks. Super flawless. Oh my gosh. Oh, I top. Okay, so now he went in with a uh, mineralized skin finish, one of my favorites. I've been using this forever in dark, deep, and I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my skin with it the same way that he's bronzing hers. This brush already has powder. I don't wanna break out, but it's okay. I'm getting a facial tomorrow. His technique is bronzing. Like, bronzing is his thing. I love this brush. This is also Sephora, number 50. Bomb. And the way he goes in, it's like so nice. Oh, I miss doing makeup. Look at her with an attitude because she knows she's like boom, boom. If you could see her, she's like this. Now, you know when you start feeling it, you're like, wait. Woo, this looks cute. I'm excited. So, bronzing for him is key. Like, skin is the most important thing in makeup. Um, This is a lot of makeup, though. This is more for, like, bridal this is a lot of makeup all right baby we snitch you see this look at that okay so now he's moving into blush let me grab a little more because he did put a lot and i'm trying to look the same I'm trying to look okay i'm gonna use this box that's not the color you see the color why this that's the color now that it's a peachy tone this is in the color wonderless I love this brush, by the way. So then he went in with a Milani bronzer and went on top of everything. Okay, we're just adding a little bit. Of, he's really bringing it to the top. I'm not doing that. Oh, he's going back again with the other thing. I don't like that. Okay. Okay. 
just like that. This is called Bronze Splendor Bake Highlighter by Milani. Love, love, love. Okay, so he went back again. Oh, he's going with contour now. Okay. <laughs> he went on the bottom of the cheeks again and clean up with the powder. I'm going to use a darker powder for that um, because I feel like that's going to make me look a little crazy so yeah this might be a breakup situation you guys this doesn't look good on me like when I do this kind of stuff it's kind of like I must, I'm starting to shut down because I'm like it's gonna mess it up this is a lot it's a lot this is not like okay so what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna leave it because I know it's gonna mess me up I'm gonna grab the brush and just wipe it away. So I still have kind of like the lifted that he's uh, looking for, but if I let that cook, it's gonna mark me and I'm gonna look crazy. Like I'm gonna look like that and that's not a cute look for me. So then he went in with a Scott Barn palette that I was trying to buy, but it was sold out. It looks so cute, but I'm like, I really don't need that because I have so many things. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Okay, just nice to know. So she's, he's going extra in with the powder. So I'm going to do the same thing because it's going to chisel her nose. It's crooked. I don't... Can you guys tell that I don't contour my nose never? Because I feel like immature right now. So now he's moving to the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and skip that part because we ain't doing that. But I am going to put a little bit of brown stuff on now. Let me, um, let me do that real quick. That eye makeup is gorgeous, you guys. Like when I tell you that eye makeup that he puts on her, like if you haven't purchased this thing, like I recommend, like it's beautiful. Beautiful. I just don't feel like doing all that right now. I'm more focused on skin. So, he's already moving on to lips, so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to use this lip liner by Lip Bar, one of my new obsessions. Literally, lip wrap products. If you haven't tried them, they are at Target, and I think they're now available at Walmart. Best lip products. Like, <sighs> So I'm gonna go ahead and use the color straight 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 living. He's using um, KKW liner. And KKWs are amazing. I always use them, but I don't know where it is, so I'm just using this one. I get so excited when I find new lip liner. Oh, she looks cool. Oh, I feel like they're already all over because the eye looks beautiful and I'm not doing that. I'm going to grab um, Kylie Spose liquid lipstick. And I used to do this before and I stopped and he reminded me to start doing it again. Uh, use a liquid lipstick on the bottom because when you put lip gloss on top, it lasts literally all day. Like, you know, when you put lip liner and lip gloss, it come off. Not with uh, liquid lipstick. One of my favorite liquid lipsticks is by Kylie Spose. Ooh, love it. And then he went on top with a lip gloss. I'm going to grab Hourglass Oreo Gloss. I love this one. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. Uh, it's so weird to say, but for me, applying lip gloss and like my lip concussion is like sex. <laughs> is that weird? I love me a lip concussion. Like, oh, I'd be like, ugh. I don't know why. It was this lip combo for me in this skin. Let me go ahead and wipe off um, around my nose. Uh, put some lashes and I'll be right back because the skin is sitting, honey. This skin, baby, it's a lot of makeup, but. 
Okay, mi gente, so we are back. How do we feel about this face? How do we feel? I love it. But I do have to say, it's a lot of makeup. Like here, we are under LED lights. It looks gorgeous. But in the regular mirror, it looks beautiful. But it's a lot. Just warning you right now. All right, don't let the lights fool you. It looks beautiful. But you can see a lot of pores. You can see if you have lines, you're gonna enhance those because it is a lot of makeup. But I love it. This is perfect for wedding days. You're gonna make it a statement and you need, you need this face to be beat. I recommend doing this kind of makeup. I love this so much. One of my favorite tricks that I learned was applying the products with brushes before booty blenders. I love that technique because I normally go in right away, but I feel like you even out the product and it just set the base. Um, also, a lot of bronzer. I thought I was putting on a bronzer, but he goes in heavier than me. If you guys watch the video, he goes in deep, deep. I do recommend buying his classes. I did learn and it kind of like made me excited. Like this is the way that I want to feel on YouTube. I want to be inspired by other artists. So I do have to say to Kevin, if you ever watch this, you inspire me. And hopefully one day you could do my makeup because listen, I love everything. Like the way you explained it, how calm it was. It was in ghetto. About some somebody else's class the other time and it was ghetto that I was like, uh, I couldn't even focus on the makeup. But it looks beautiful. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know. Uh, I'm going to show you how she looks. I'm going to put it right here so you guys can see um, how she looks at the end. Um, but yeah, I recommend buying his classes. They're only, when my body was 45, I went up to 65 and I don't think that's bad at all. If you want to learn, if you are a learning makeup artist and this is what you want to do, he was very great at what he did and my face turned out beautiful. Like, honey, I was going to get dressed up, but I was like, I'm not going to get dressed up. I'm just going to stay in my rub. But I just put a wig on because I wanted to see how I look with that hair and I feel it too. I'm like, I love it. And even the nose contour, the way that he did it, I was like, Chi, I was like, Chi. But look at this nose. I think it had to do with the cooking. I love the cooking part. I love everything. It's just cakey, but it's beautiful. I like, I don't, I don't mind it, bitch. We can't go nowhere. It's 12 o'clock at night time. And I have a facial in the morning. So we're about to take this off and go to sleep. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. Comment below and let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, how I enjoyed doing it. I was nervous. I was getting a little like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. But it's always a great thing to step out of your comfort zone. And it's never too late to learn something new. So thank you, Kevin, for making those videos because I learned something new. And hopefully, like I said, hopefully one day you could do my makeup because, baby, if I did it, it came out bomb. I could just imagine with your bomb hands. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, like I said. And I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao. Besitos.